And hi, everybody. <laughs> Happy Monday night. It's Monday, right? Yes. Happy Monday mm -hmm. night. It is September the 13th, 6.30 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> Toronto, New York time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we are having a chill a chill chat and crochet uh, evening here. So if you've got a uh, work in progress, you want to sort of put your feet up and work on something, this is a nice time to do that. I, I like to, sometimes <laughs> I have trouble blocking off the time to actually sit and crochet or work on a project um, because I always feel like there's something else I need to be doing. But, um, and if I sit down and I watch something that really requires my attention, then I won't necessarily get much done on my crochet. So this is the kind of evening that you can sort of sit down, Focus on your crochet and just listen to us prattling on in the background. <laughs> We're uh, going to answer a couple of prattle, questions. Prattle, 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 prattle. And um, I'm going to make some more jewelry. We did a video on crochet jewelry on Friday. Mm. And uh, today we posted our um, ghost, our little ghost applique from ages ago. It's just a simple little, go it almost looks like one of the Pac-Man ghosts. And I'm going to use that pattern and I'm going to make some more of these little tiny uh, earrings. So I've got my bag of embroidery floss. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, I've got my pattern here, my pattern book. And I'm thinking I might uh, put a couple, sew a couple of beads in for eyes as opposed to sort of just embroidering little ones because I, I have a lot of beads and I thought if I made if I made wow. if I used slightly larger beads for the eyes it might make it look kind of cute I don't know it's going to be kind of an experiment so that's what I'm going to do tonight okay I think I messed up the links so no one click on those links yet <laughs> <laughs> they keep joining together <laughs> they keep joining together yeah, so yeah I was trying to separate them by pressing enter and enter just posted them and, the... and they were joining. The link was joining with oh. the title of the, the next one. Oh, so weird. I'm going to do them separately. <laughs> it is weird. Is that for the, the jewelry video yeah, and so, then the ghost yeah, so video? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm doing jewelry video first and ghost video second. So there's four posts there, guys. So you guys the first two ignore and you can... Um, you can link up with the second two if you'd like to watch those videos at uh, later or at any time. Yes, and if you're in the um, if you're looking in your subscription feed on YouTube later, you should see the post uh, from earlier today. If you go back, um, and probably not too far. I don't know. It depends on how many people you're subscribed to and how many videos are being put out. Uh, but you want your subscription feed, not your home feed, uh, because I mean it might show up in your home feed. It just won't necessarily show up in chronological order. I'm just going to find my tutorial or my little pattern on the, here it is, Beep -beep. pull that out while I'm working on it. So, so Cheryl there. says, uh, Cheryl's a channel member and hey, says, hello from Newfoundland. Hey. Not crocheting at the moment because everything is packed up for our move across town this Ooh. week. Just chilling. That's just like chillin'. us. We're just chilling. Chilling's good. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna crochet very hard or very fast tonight. Um, I've been feeling a little bit of flare up in my wrists, uh, so that always kind of slows me down when I'm crocheting. But um, this is the little guy that I'm going to downsize even more. I've even got a smaller one back here. So I'm going to. I'm going to see about making. I'm gonna pull my little pattern out. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to see about making him even smaller. That's crochet thread. I'm going to use. We have a member upgrade. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a new member, but it's Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Thank Sherry's you. been a member for a long time and Sherry upgraded to Merino. Oh, thank you. There's uh, some fun pools to be had there. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So what am I doing? I'm, uh, I'm I'm literally thinking my way through this as we hang out here, guys. So um, I have embroidery floss. I've got some hooks here. Let me see. I'm probably going to use one of my smaller ones, my 1.75. I think I'm going to use that one. I need a pair of scissors and I need a embroidery needle. There's one there. And I am going to try and 
make these tiny. So let's see. Super chat from Bethany. Hey, Bethany. Good evening. Thank you very much. Bethany says, hi, guys. I'm only here for a short time. I have to work in 25 minutes. Oh. 11-hour workday today. Oh. LOL. Super fun. Great to see you both. <laughs> 11 <Ooh>. hours. <laughs> That's a doozy That's shift. That's a doozy shift. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Well, I'm glad you were able to catch us. Yes. Thanks for popping by. Um, I am <laughs> just going to get this little guy started. I might modify the pattern a little bit too because I want it to be small enough that they hang at my ear without being too big. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I might even start smaller. I think I might. Yep. I'm going to start even smaller than that. Jada's dressed like a pumpkin today. I am dressed like a pumpkin. I've got my I've got my we're, little pumpkin uh, jewelry on. We're promoting our jewelry video. Yes. <laughs> from Friday. I just like if it. If anyone missed it, uh, there's a pumpkin and a sunflower, right? Yes. Is that what it was? Pumpkin and sunflower? Pumpkin and sunflower. Yeah. I wore the little sunflowers all weekend because I just thought they were so darn cute. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think I'm gonna make this little guy five stitches across. So I'm still gonna put a little I really liked the border on it. I really liked the uh sunflower earrings yes those are my favorite yeah those were i love i love my little pumpkins those are really cute sunflowers are just so darn cute they're 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 so cheerful there's um there's still sunflowers around it, it depends on what what um, <laughs> variety you're growing some of them kind of show up and leave like sooner than others but the they're just so darn cute because they're, they're always sort of smiling at the sun. And then if there's no sun in the sky, they all just sort of turn and look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> they think so they're sun. Cute. Hey, are you sun? I don't you're, know. Are you're you sunny. Sun? You look like sun. Oh, you look nice. I'm going to look at you all day. I'm going to stare at you. <laughs> um, someone's birthday popped up. Hey. Let's see here. Jolene. Jolene. Happy 50th. Oh, happy birthday. Spring chicken. That is a, uh, a room full of spring chickens. That's a milestone, that one. <laughs> I still yeah. think that's too big. Don't mind me. I'm I'm experimenting here. I'm I'm taking my basic little pattern and I'm trying to make it even smaller. So what if I do okay? One, two, three, four. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get this started and then I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of get to one of these little questions here because we had a couple questions from the, some family members that were just sort of good general <laughs> questions about crochet techniques. And I thought they might be kind of fun to discuss. Shout out to Cameron. Cameron's here. Hey, help, helping everyone find our videos. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> can use all the help we get. Yep. We've got uh, our, our super slow internet. We can only have like one window open at a time. I'm going to shout out our members. Um, Oh boy, we got a nice long list here. So quick enough. shout out. So Hook Hook Crochet, hey. Pat, Amy, Diane, Jill Bean, <laughs> Summer is here, Pamela, <laughs> Leslie, Bethany, Megan, Tinkerbell. <laughs> that is <laughs> Lorraine. It's a real fun Lori, Bima. <laughs> hey, wow. Monique. Pamela is here. Cheryl. Angel. Aww. Yeah. Good. And we have a whole bunch of subscribers the, in here. The, the gang's out away. Here. Oh, yeah. Destiny, Julie, Joyce, Beverly. Well, thank you, guys. I'm thank glad you, you could so all much, hang everyone. out. Thank you so much, everyone. Thelma, uh, Colleen. It's kind of like a virtual... Um, it's a it's a virtual... Uh, uh, what's it's the like word being at the, the local library. It's kind of like, yeah, kind of like a book circle, club. Uh, yeah, I like the local like library. Like a crochet circle or something. <laughs> the local library. <laughs> Hello, hello to everyone. We're keeping it uh, low key today. Low key. I wanted to do some more jewelry. I wanted to just sort of hang out with everybody, touch base, and uh, and I'm doing a little experimenting at the same time. So I don't, I don't typically. I I love to, I love to do this. I love to kind of th say to myself, okay, this is what I want. This is this is sort of the material I have, and this is this is the pattern I'm going to use as a base. Now, can I get it to work for me? I'm not sure. So we're going to see. How good I am at downsizing this little ghost. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hmm. I don't have my glasses. One, two, three, <laughs> four, 
five rows, <laughs> five single crochet, and then I'm going to they're like a uh, big smaller big welcome to Lisa, Hi, Lisa who just joined our membership. Hey, welcome to the family. Welcome, Lisa, and thank you. Thank you very much. This where's okay. my little uh you have your little welcome emoji? I've got I've got my little um ukulele, Yuki and uh welcome emoji. Okay. Oh wait, no, I like that. <laughs> all right, I swear I'm gonna show Becky you guys. Says I would love a book of all your patterns. We kind of sort of have a, a big book. <laughs> that'd be a very big book. <laughs> but Jada has a little one going, and we have a, a bunch of um, people doing that with uh, in the Facebook group. But um, you should show Becky your little. Did you have your binder? Yeah, there? I've got my binder. Hang on, I'm just. We have a little journal kit. That's that uh helps you put your uh put patterns together yeah like if you are you collecting mix them together with collecting like the patterns you collect if you are collecting patterns um we we designed a um some printable downloadable stuff some of it's in our etsy shop so if you want to purchase a, a a kit um it helps out our show and we appreciate it it's all based on a three ring binder so if you can get your hands on a binder um we've got a pretty little um title page, uh, a binder's fine, so you can identify what binder it is if it's sitting on your shelf or stuffed under your bed. Um, and then we've mm -hmm. got sort of notes pages and we've got some fun ideas for doing, um, I like to do kind of a scrapbook effect. So um, whatever the pattern is, I, I put the, I print the pattern out. The pattern sits on the inside of the little pocket and I like to design a little, a little um, title page for it. And then I do um, things like, well, the notes page. We uh, also have some videos on this stuff. Yeah, we do have videos on this curious, stuff. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the note page. And this sort of allows you to keep track of all the extra details that you might kind of um, come across when you're working on a pattern. So, for example, this little ghost um, applique tutorial that we did that we have a pattern for, um, it's originally was based on a blanket, like sort of like your typical size four medium weight yarn. I think we used a may have used a four and a half millimeter hook, a five millimeter, any something in there. And um, and it's just a cute little applique that looks cute on a hat or maybe a blanket or a, a trick or treat bag. And that was kind of the idea of the applique. But um, I you can size down really simple shapes like two dimensional appliques um, that are not super complicated, like they're our little ghosty shape. You can size them right down just by using a really small hook, like a steel hook and embroidery floss like I'm doing here or crochet thread and you can make them really really tiny and you can do that um, if you want to make them into things like earrings or uh, I think a couple people were mentioning they were going to make stitch markers um, using the, the sunflower and the pumpkin from the Friday video so um, that's that's fun and it's important to kind of keep track of that <laughs> somewhere with the original pattern you know hey I downsized <laughs> these this was the this was the size they made that he made out to using this hook this thread Things I liked about it, things I didn't like about it, what I would do differently next time, things I want to try. Um, that's all the information that you would you would include in something like that. So uh, one of our members, Tinkerbell, has Tinkerbell. A, a question or a statement, I think, for Jada. Okay. Um, it says, Mr. Stitches, please read this to Jada. <laughs> so Tinkerbell's just getting right to the point. Okay. I am working on a shell stitch blanket using a five millimeter crochet hook for a queen sized bed. Oh shell my stitch. god! Wow. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. That is. What um, size are you using? Get right comfy. Now? That's, <laughs> that's, that's good. Like thread, is that thread? I'm using is that thread size. I'm using embroidery floss and I'm using a steel hook. And this is a one point seven five millimeter hook. Mm. So also five is still very an, small. Oh, yeah, it's it's well, that's going to be an ongoing project. I'm sure it'll look stunning yeah, when it's done. Absolutely stunning. That's going to be really pretty. Big, big <clears throat> blankets made with a small stitch <laughs> or uh, made with like a fine, a fine hook and fine yarn. They're they look they look so elaborate. They look they look like I, I call it the it's sort of the instant heirloom effect. Um, somebody shared a, a picture with us at the Etsy shop um, over the weekend, Kathy, and she had made a gorgeous blanket for a wedding gift. And it was really, really simple. It was just sort of a, your basic sort of shelf stitch. Um, but 
she, it's all in like a nice white cream. It was really, really large. So on that scale, it takes on like this sort of epic kind of feel and really pretty little sort of border on it. You know, nothing over complicated. So, you know, people, but, but if you're not a crocheter, you look at it and you go, wow, you know, because it's just gorgeous. I, I love that. That's one of my favorite things about crochet. <laughs> It looks complicated. It's not always complicated. Cheryl, another uh, channel member, says, I'd love to stay, but I'm falling asleep ah, sitting up. Take care. So I'll try to catch the rest later. <laughs> nice to see you. Well, thanks for, thanks for giving it a shot. Thanks for coming by. I'm sure it's pretty late where you we are. We do that all the Maybe time. Maybe Cheryl's from the UK. Yes, possibly. Yeah. I don't blame you. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious. We'll, we'll get into bed. Sometimes early, sometimes later, sometimes late. We'll usually turn on the TV yeah. and be like, "Hey, let's watch a, we'll watch a little, let's watch a podcast, or let's listen to something, or you know, we'll watch, we'll try a, a Netflix, you know, let's see one episode of this or that." I'm usually asleep with it. I'm like, "Oh yeah, Instant. I'm gonna watch this whole movie yeah. or Instant. this whole show." I'm usually asleep within five minutes, <laughs> and I'm like, "I get to pick it because you're gonna fall asleep." <laughs> I want to pick. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is going to work. Okay. Success. Um, I needed to get to our new member, Lisa, sent us a super chat. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. And Lisa says, thanks for the warm welcome. Aw. Well, thank you for joining, and thank you for super chatting. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we, you. Uh, we appreciate the support. We do. It helps a lot. I like, Le I like Lisa's little icon. Does it looks a... like um, a Muppet. <laughs> it looks like a I character from... Uh, Sesame Street. Aw. Yeah. I love the Muppets. <laughs> I think there's a there was a place a in New York City where you could actually go and, and make a Muppet, like a real yeah. legit Muppet. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that place is still going. I wonder. Anybody know? And Anybody it, from it, New it, York City there? Yeah. We actually watched uh, a YouTuber, a couple of YouTubers. I think we do did, that. yeah. And uh, you get to go and you get to pick out. You can kind of make them look like, like you. Everything you want. If you want. You and then, to. and it's legit the same stuff that. Um, it's a Henson. It's a Henson studio. Henson thing. studio, yeah. Yeah, that's really. That cool. would be fun. <laughs> I would love a Muppet that looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am just gonna trim that. Trim this little thing. There we go. Okay. All right, that is one itty bitty little downsized. How's that? Can you see? Yeah, that? I can see that little guy. He's tiny. A little itty bitty. So let's see. I did five rows at five stitches wide, and then I decreased, this is all single crochet. I decreased, uh, so a single crochet two together, single crochet, single crochet two together. So my sixth row was three across, and then I just single crocheted around to the bottom. I did three double crochet, a slip stitch, three double crochet, a slip stitch, three double crochet, and then I single crocheted back around the top, and that's it. So super downsized version of that original little thing but I think that's a good size so I'm going to make the second one now before I forget what I did and that's why I got my notes page out because I'm going to make notes about it and uh let's see here a little sip of this um oh one of the questions we had from the family was from Marilyn she asked about maybe having a discussion about favorite yarns brands fibers and the kind of projects they'd be good for so in the spirit of that question, I think maybe I'll, I'll just talk a little bit about why I'm using embroidery floss for these little itty bitty earring uh, downsized appliques. Embroidery floss is usually cotton. It's mercerized, mer mercerized. I never know how to say Neither that. Neither do I. Is it mercerized or mer mercerized? Mercerized, mercerized. M-E-R-C-E-R-I-Z-E-D, -E -E mercerized. Cotton. I would say mercer. Mercer, yeah. mercerized. That's what I Yeah, think, but I don't but... know. It might be Merker. <laughs> Merky. <laughs> I'm uh, sure I'm sure it's pronounced differently uh, around the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So many things are. Um, but 100 percent cotton. And it's it's basically it's treated with uh with a, a kind of chemical bath, and then it's spun really, really, really tightly, and there's six <laughs> different um ply to it. So it's really nice and smooth and soft. And of course, embroidery floss is usually for embroidery. But if you were uh, a teenager and you were into braiding or knotting bracelets like I was, you might, you know, kind of have an addiction to this stuff that goes back several decades. <laughs> I still will make bracelets from time to time. I absolutely love working with embroidery floss. And it, it's one of those craft supplies that 
I can never have too much of it. I always end up reaching for it for something. And as an interesting little aside, if you ever are in the middle of doing, um, let's say, a little applique and you've got uh, a color of yarn that's close but not exact, or maybe you want to add a little bit of depth to it, you can always grab some embroidery floss and hold the, the embroidery floss along with your yarn as you crochet, and you'll just work in a little smidgen of the color of that embroidery floss. And often that's, that's just enough to just give a little more dimension and, and interesting effect to the yarn that you're using. So I love embroidery floss. I always have it around. And because it's cotton, a lot of the time, you can also get sort of um, metallic style embroidery floss. It's another thing that looks nice wrapped in with your yarn if you're on doing certain projects. Um, I can crochet with it. And it's, it's like, it's really strong and it's stiff and it doesn't have flyaway wispies. So it makes for a really nice little tiny, uh, charm sized piece of crochet, which of course you can turn into a whole lot of things, a little charm bracelet, little earrings, you know, whatever you might want to use it for. Um, so cotton is one of my favorite fibers. I have not used a lot of the more expensive stuff. I've used wool in the past um, and I've used wool blends. I have some bamboo, haven't gotten into that yet. Um, I have a few different bamboo um, yarns and they feel really silky and soft. So I'm looking forward to using them. I just haven't decided what I'm going to turn them into yet. Um, but some fibers are kind of good for everything. Other fibers are good for very specific things. Um, if you're making yourself a really nice sweater or you're making a really nice sweater for someone or a nice hat or a scarf or a pair of gloves, the really nice fibers are great for that. Shawls, anything wearable. So like the really nice wools, the alpacas, the merinos, um, the little fluffy bunny angora um, yarns. Um, those are really nice so long as you are not allergic to them or the person you're making it for is not allergic to it, um, which is why, again, I like to come back to cotton quite often. Cotton blends are great too. Sometimes they'll mix those wools or those different sort of natural fibers with the cotton. Cotton is strong, cotton washes well, cotton usually holds on to its color and doesn't bleed, um, but I, I wash everything in, in cold um, and I usually hand wash it just to avoid any possible, you know, um, color melting. <laughs> so I don't like it when that happens. Um, but if you're making things like blankets, I like to use acrylic for blankets, especially if they're kind of decorative blankets. A lot of the calendar blankets we make, I treat like decor decoration. So I don't actually get under them and snuggle. Not that I couldn't, but um, I like to treat them more as sort of decorative things. Uh, but you can use cotton again for blankets. Cotton is heat resistant. So if you're making things for the kitchen, I usually you'll hear me recommend cotton, but any natural fiber is good. It's just that some of the natural fibers are really expensive or they ladder up in, in, in levels of expensiveness. So if you are new to crochet or you, you know, you want to, um, you know, you want to try out a new project. I don't recommend trying brand new stitches or complicated projects or diving in anything that's really unknown territory and doing it with really fancy yarn. Because if you have to pull it out or you make some errors or it knots up on you because you know, you're know you kind of just yanking on it as you're working on it, you don't want to ruin really expensive yarn <laughs> because it's really depressing <laughs> when you do. Um, <clears throat> but that said, if you've like if if you've made a sweater before and you used cotton and you made a sweater and you used acrylic and or you've you you know you've used different sort of the, the, the more kind of affordable yarns, we'll call them, um, and you're comfortable with the way of like that project goes together and the concept of it, then jump in, use the fancy yarn, and it just it's again, it's got that heirloom quality to it. Fancy yarn, you don't have to use a fancy pattern, it's just it. Nice fibers look nice, they drape nice, they feel nice, but you also have to give them extra care and maintenance after the fact. Like uh, if you're going to wash them, keep your labels, keep your yarn labels, because your yarn labels usually tell you how to treat the fiber that you've purchased. And, you know, if you are really good to your knits and your crochet uh, goodies, they will be really good to you for quite a long time. So um, maintenance maintenance of your nice things no that's really good advice like if you're going to buy expensive yarn um save it for something that you're comfortable yeah. doing yeah and yeah. practice on the cheap stuff practice on the cheap stuff in fact before you for sure uh before you dive into a project even if it's if like if you're you know working on multiple projects at the same time or maybe you're sort of working on something tiny like i am and you're jumping back and forth i always recommend having having uh, a little what i would call sort of a a sample runner 
um, it doesn't have, doesn't matter what the yarn is. doesn't matter, um, you know, what the colors are or anything. It's just, you pick up and you work a few stitches and you warm up. Then you go start working on the project that you're working on. Because, um, sometimes, um, some of you may notice this, some of you may, may be able to jump into crochet and not have any warm up issues at all. But sometimes if you're cold or you're, you're tight or you're, you know, you're coming off like a, a hard Monday, <laughs> you're, you're trying to unwind your tension will will be different coming out of your hands whether you're you know you still need to warm up or you still need to cool down or you know you want to calm down or whatever kind of state of mind you might be in so working a few stitches on just some little throwaway goofy thing like if you've got a, a, a hunk of yarn you don't really care for the color um and you keep it in sort of your <clears throat> your your goof basket I don't know I've got a little jar of goof yarn that I sometimes chop up and use as stuffing and sometimes I pull it and I just I practice a stitch on it and then I just pull it out and stuff it back in the thing so it's it's yarn that I don't care how gnarly it gets or how pilly it gets or how you know weird or I'm never actually going to finish it into something I just use it as practice so I you know I, I work a few few stitches Maybe I'm seeing if the hook I'm using is right. Maybe that do I like the size of the stitch? Is it am I comfortable? You know, I got a oh, I've got a kink in my hand. I need to warm up my hand. I do that first before I get into the actual project that I'm working on, just so I know that my tension will be a little more even right from the off, as opposed to sort of that warm up time that I might have, especially if I'm kind of sore. And I'm going to attempt to make this little Okay, ghost I scene. have got a few little shout outs to throw out here. Shout out. Shout out to throw out. <laughs> shout out to toss out. Shout, shout out. out to shout out. Shout out to shout out. Shout out to shout out to place gently. Shout out to uh to um what's not shouting? Because we're not really um, shouting. So shout out to shout out chill out. <laughs> chill out. Shout out to I'm thinking of the bullhorn. Shout out to bullhorn out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start here with Steph. A hey. big thank you to Steph for a $10 oh, super sticker. Thank you very much, Steph. And it's, um, it's our, um, Is it our pair. Uh, what do you call that? Um, aerobics. Aerobics. I wanted to say acrobatics, and I'm he's, like, that's wrong. He's, he's like, what do you call What do you call this? And I'm like, Donna Aerob Summers? Aerobics. <laughs> I kept wanting to say acrobat, acro, uh, acrobat, acrobat, well, aerobics. It's pretty our close. Little, it's our little aerobics pair, and, oh. and it's saying number one fan jumping <laughs> up and down. Thank you. So the big thank you to Steph. A big thank you to Granny Banani. Hey, Granny Banani. Who sends the uh, the the pair um, blowing oh, kisses? Thank, thank you. you, Granny Banani is in the house. Granny Banani's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and a big thank you to Molly. Molly, hi. Who is here? Sent a super sticker of the little um, uh, fox saying hiya. Uh, thank you. And Molly's busy. I know she is. She's always busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I I um I think. Oh, what I got here? Um. Yes. Uh, Amina is asking about bee tutorial. We have a bee we tutorial. Do have a little bee it's tutorial. a little three D stuffed toy. Yeah. And it is, I think Cameron's searching for oh, it. Oh, thank you. Cameron. I don't remember the title, <laughs> um, um, but if you search Jada and Stitches Bumblebee, Bumblebee um, crochet Bumblebee? pattern. Cammy, I'll have it in a second. Um, it's about maybe five, oh. five or six years old, but it should. I'm going to say seven years old. Okay, That's, who's closer, Cam, me or, me or the mister? Cam, I say Cameron seven. will find out. I I'm going to say between five and six. Cameron will figure it out. Cameron will find it. <laughs> I would I would do this, but I can't. It'll slow down our stream, yes. and then everyone will get um, buffer buffering or, or booted out, <laughs> <laughs> or booted out completely. Yeah. Um. Oh, we got a couple super chats in a row here. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So uh, we'll find that bumblebee for you, Amina, and a super chat from Amy. Amy. And Amy says, hello, so excited for the live stream. I'm working on the mini pumpkins for my son's wedding in a few weeks. Aww. I'm making 60 of them and Whoa. I have 16 to go. Oh, oh, you're busy. Wow, you're flying. Are you talking about the, the 3D pumpkins? Like, are you going to use them as uh, decor on the tables? Oh, that is That's so be awesome. great. Oh, my gosh. And then, you know, if you do that little thing, uh, you know those you know those fun games? Like, okay, so there's like a centerpiece. This is, this is typical to a lot of weddings around mm -hmm. here. I'm assuming mm -hmm. that's kind of a 
typical thing in a lot of places. There's a centerpiece in the table where everybody's sitting. And then like there's like some kind of game to get people to, you know, one person gets to win to take the centerpiece home with them. I'm trying to think of what some of the more fun games, I, you know, sometimes it's like it's a sticker under the chair. Sometimes it's like a musical chair, uh, although that can get a bit crazy. But I think I think we did something. I think did we, we did a sticker under the chair at our wedding for the centerpiece. Is that I, what I, it I seem was? to remember you putting, a, putting a, winning, a winning yeah, tag got, under the, yeah, yeah. so it was cute because it was like what? everybody was expecting a game where we were like, yeah. nope, flip your chairs over. Them. OK, what? <laughs> People yeah. like, ah. so, yes. So that's nice. Good that's, memory. You didn't you didn't blank out that, that one, one. I did not. Blank. You did not blank out that one. <laughs> you just bl blanked out who your your uh, husband. I just your, blanked out the guy. Who, who I got the groom to. was? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the suit. Just the suit gets wheeled out just and like <laughs> it's like a mannequin with no head. <laughs> it's like on a wheelbarrow. <laughs> You know when they're on a board? It's, like, it's, like, it's, it's Frankenstein on the board, you know? It comes up here. And it kind of wibbles, wobbles wobble a little. It. But it doesn't even have a head. It's just the body. It's just the suit. It's just the suit. <laughs> Is that how you That's felt? That's memory. No, I'm just, I'm just goofing around. I, I've got some more stuff to get to oh, here. Oh, okay. So I also wanted to bring to your attention that Cameron found our Bumblebee video. Of course he did. Thank you, Cam. You were right. It's seven years old <laughs> from June. Oh, wow. Seven years ago. Yes. Well, I thought that was an older one. That's yeah. a cutie. I so do, that's a good one. I do um, intend to remake that Bumblebee um, yeah. because we did it so long ago. And the I, video quality might be it, mediocre, it, it might be, but it's good enough to follow. Yeah, sure. it's good enough to follow. But yeah. I do, I do want to do that again. One, because... Um, I have other ideas for it. And two, I love bumblebees. Maybe we should redo the bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. So I, I do have it on my list of things to get to, but my gosh, that list is growing ever, ever so. So big thank you to Cameron for finding thank that. Um, also, I want to share this for, from Summer. Summer is one of our long time channel members and super supporters. Yes, yes. Um, so a an big thank you to enthusiast. Summer. Yes, an Animal Crossing <laughs> Nintendo enthusiast. Um, Summer says, Mr. and Stitches, are we going, we are going to need a three-year badge soon. I'll be at 2.5 member next month. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank oh you. Oh my goodness. You must have joined immediately. I, like you know what? right at the beginning. Does, 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 does YouTube even have that? Yeah. So the reason I brought that up is because we actually don't um control that that's something that youtube does so we're allowed to put to give them some feedback yeah maybe we will yeah, yeah. we'll we'll send them feedback and we'll see if <laughs> um they... dear youtube our community is awesome yeah can you please keep up <laughs> we have the best channel members in the world we do therefore we have a request it's this yes. slash demand <laughs> we have a very friendly demand <laughs> <laughs> we have a very gentle demand yes um yeah so YouTube allows you to put your own badges, but there's um, there's a, a limit, there's to, a the limit to the one. Yeah. And I think it's I think the the max is two. But years I think right that's now. because they're uh, they are behind the eight ball. Yeah, I am going to send them some yeah, feedback. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Summer, thank you, for bringing Summer. that up. We will. <laughs> we'll send them feedback and we'll see if they address it. Sometimes sometimes they actually get to stuff relatively quick. Yes. Uh, and then other times. Summer. It's like sometimes speaking they do. into the ether. It is. It is. So, sometimes <laughs> they get to things, and it might be because it's it's, it a, it's an issue that a lot of people are kind of confronted mm -hmm. with. Yeah, yeah. If it's worth the time um, for them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've got a lot going but on. But we there. will definitely bring it up. Mm -hmm. And a I want to share a big thank you to Tori, who sent us a super chat. Thank you, Tori. Um, so five bucks from Amy, five bucks from Tori. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Have so many whips. It's unreal. She cut. She got held up in the in the pile. What yeah. am I? What am I gonna make? Tonight? Oh, what am I gonna make? I love your inspiration, and I'm I'm loving the hair, Jada. It is so cute. Thank you. Show everyone your. Oh, I've got your, a story. Um, I have a story. About ribbon. This. I don't know how, how. How. I mean, come on, everyone. How adorable is Jada right now? <laughs> I would I would definitely give you a nine point two out of ten. Okay, okay now, there's for a cuteness. there's a story behind this. So so any of you who have watched the show a long time know that my hair changes quite frequently because I I well that's my personality. I get bored of things really really fast. Um, many 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 a year ago, <laughs> I used to I used to like to put stuff in my hair all the time. I was always wearing something in my hair. I wore. <laughs> 
I worked, I worked all manner of crazy things into my hair back when I was, I was young. Cause I thought it was funny and fun. And uh, it was, it was kind of a, a conversation starter. <laughs> anyway, my hair is now long enough again, that I can start to sort of do that. Well, my hair is not as thick as it used to be. It's, um, it's thinning as I age, um, but it is getting longer. And so I can, I can start to do a little bit more with it. Anyway, I found that elastics aren't usually like the small ones are too grabby in my hair and the big ones don't stay in. Like I can't wrap them enough to keep kind of the end of a braid together because my hair will taper to such a tiny little point. So I was sort of going down a rabbit hole on YouTube uh, last night or the night before. Something I love to do. I love to sort of type into YouTube, you know, uh, hairstyles without elastics and pins because I don't really like putting pins in my hair either. Well, I stumbled across a young woman. I, I can't think of her name. Darn it all. I will try to find it and post about it in the community a little later. But she, she's she got absolutely gorgeous, long, long, long hair. And she's always sort of experimenting with old hairstyles. So she does all this sort of research into old, like what women would have done before there was such a thing as an elastic, for example, or or bobby pins, because we didn't always have those. So she kind of goes, she kind of goes into researching sort of medieval hairstyles. And she looks at the, she looks at actual paintings, and she tries to figure out kind of what they've done. Anyways, she did this, and she realized that that um, this hair doesn't have any elastics or pins in it, and it isn't going anywhere. You basically take two long ribbons, you braid your, you make, you make, you split your hair in half, two long braids, pinch the ends. I kind of tuck one into my mouth while I'm working on the other one. Pull them up over your head, hold them in place. Take your yarn needle, thread up a long ribbon, and then just sort of literally sew the ribbon over top. You're doing a whip stitch over top of the two braids together. Tuck the ends in underneath the back of your hair. And you just go one way with one ribbon, leaving a long tail at the bottom, and then the other tail at the other side. And then you go back the other way with a second ribbon, and then you tie the ends together. And it, your hair stays up. It's fantastic. There's no pins. There's no elastics. And if you're using a nice blunt nose needle, you're not obviously going to hurt yourself. You're just, you know, poking it through, through the hair underneath the braid. Um, and you're basically sewing your braids to the top of your head with ribbon. That's what they would have done once upon a time, which is why sometimes you see those really neat um, paintings of medieval women who have all the sort of all that looks like sort of ribbon braided into their hair. It's not actually braided in. It's actually them sewing their hair to their head <laughs> to mm -hmm. keep it up and out of the way. So I tried it. This was my second attempt. So that's what I was up to. Looks today. fantastic. <laughs> These are the, the, the silly things I get up to. I'm I gave you a nine point two out of ten. Thank you. That's my rating. Uh, well, how about what does everybody think of my little ghosties? Do they look fairly identical? I'm going to I'm going to dress them. I have to put little eyeballs on them, but I think that's all I'm going to do. I'm I'd say have... they're pretty darn close. Pretty close. Oh yeah. Pretty... Size wise. Size wise, sure. they're pretty even. I think they worked out well. Okay. So very cute. Very now cute. I'm going to pick a couple of. I'm going to pick a couple of of um, beads, and I'm going to I'm going to hold a couple beads up, and we're going to we're going to pick the eyeballs for these little guys together. Um, I'm just trying to see if I've got. Another another question that might dovetail into this. Well, before you do that, I would like to shout out Megan, who sent us a ten dollar hey, super chat. Thank you. Megan says, "Hi y'all. Scott and I have missed y'all. <laughs> what is the best way to make a collar for a granny square sweater?" Oh, Scott wants to know if Mister and Stitch has got a haircut. I <laughs> love y'all. He did not. Well, <laughs> I will send you a picture of me in my current form. <laughs> Um, what is the best color to put on? Okay, well, there are a few ways we can answer this. One, is it a brightly colored, multicolored sweater? Uh, because that will affect the yarn you're using and maybe how many colors you're using. So if you're using up the scraps that you've got, then I guess you can just use whatever colors you want if it's a multi crazy colored sweater. If you've used very specific colors, like every single square is exactly the same, like the center's a color and the outside is a single color and then they're all stitched together then you may want to continue with the border color of the square up into the collar. Um, you can do a collar that has that, you know, like a shirt collar, how it kind of flips down and there's like little points. It's really easy to do that. You just take the open collar area. So from here, all the way around the neck to here, and you just single crochet from here all the way around, turn all the way around, turn all the way around, and you keep doing it and doing it and doing it until it goes up to your chin. Then you just turn it under and it sits like a regular collar. So that's a really easy way to add like that kind of a collar if you want to do it. Um, you can also make it sort of like a like a short stiff collar 
I don't know if they call that a Nehru collar. They might still do that. I'm not sure if that's, there's probably other names for it. Um, it's the same thing. You just sort of do some, some stitching from here, back, back, back and forth a few times. And then, I don't know, however many rows just makes it kind of want to stand up. Then you continue with one more row all the way around the outside edge of your um, sweater, just so that the edges are finished off nicely. You want to make sure you crochet down the raw edge of that collar. And then that'll just be like just, just enough of a collar that kind of sits up. And um, especially if you're using like a thick, bulky yarn, that looks nice with thick, bulky yarn. So that's a couple of different options. That's what I've done with those kinds of big sort of sweaters in the past. Um, I mean, you can get crazy. You can get, you can even put other granny squares along, you know, the edge of your collar. Uh, you know, <laughs> there's really, the sky's the limit. It depends on how much yarn you've got and the kind of look you're going for. Um, if you want it to be kind of more playful, then, you know, go crazy. If you just want it to be kind of neat and tidy and you're just finishing off the rest of your yarn, then either of those little options are a nice, nice finishing touch to a sweater like that. Mm -hmm. And then, then the collar doesn't really take away from the pretty work of the actual uh, granny squares. I think I had another super chat here to get to. This is from JC. Hey, JC. JC is JC is our poet, right? Yes. Yes. JC yes. sent a really uh, fantastic Mister and Stitches poem. She did. <laughs> Thank you, JC. Yes. I'm honored. We that. <laughs> I am honored that you wrote a poem about me. So JC sent us a super chat. Thank you. And JC asks, will y'all ever bring back the Lula and Gwen band? Oh that gosh. was so cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we will. Absolutely. We I are mean, hoping to get the, the faster internet. Yeah, the problem with all of our, I mean, we, we, we were doing so many more things before, but our internet just can't handle it. Yeah. It's... Um, so we kind of had to. I don't know, um, stream it down as much as we could. Yeah, we, we, we are really hoping that we get better internet. We know that um, there are lots of areas that are working on it. So we're kind of hoping that we get grouped into that at some point soon yeah. because we, we really want better internet because mm -hmm. there are so many things we would love to do during, say, live streams. I guess we could. Um, that we can't right now. <laughs> we could put that little, that little animation on one of our Ooh. upcoming videos. Um, <laughs> Are you talking Ooh. about the one that we did during the live streams or the one that where they're kind of singing and dancing? Because that one you can go watch. The, I just don't remember it's what probably the live what stream. Videos. The live stream. No, there's one they, where there's one there's one where they're um, singing and dancing together. There's a there's a handful of videos, but I don't remember which ones. <laughs> I don't remember either. I know yeah. that we, we we But then we also had them playing their little thank you. Yes. Um super chat thank yes. you. Yes, but that was did. for the live stream. That was for the live streams. Yeah. Hmm. But thanks for reminding us. Yes. yes, we absolutely intend to um, do more of that. We just had to dial it back because of the slow internet. Yeah, the internet brutal. Don't mind me, everybody. I'm digging through my some of my, <laughs> some of my yes. Beads. My hair still looks like an afro, <laughs> especially if I don't wet it down. Ah, there you are. I'm currently styling the wet dog look <laughs> when I go out. I just I just wet it all down and I've got the wet dog look. <laughs> oh, we got another super chat oh, from another gosh. Megan. <laughs> Thank you, this Megan. is a different Megan though. <laughs> uh, Megan says, I think the hair girl might be. S'il vous plaît, wondering if you have any recommendations for cardigan patterns. Love you both. Uh, her name was actually her name. It was, it was like, it, it was. Does that sound familiar? S'il vous plaît? No, it wasn't. It, her name was actually like, it wasn't. I'm thinking of another girl I watched named Rachel. It wasn't Rachel. It was, it was another, another girl. Uh, I will go back in my history. I'll find it because it was actually a really well done video. Um. And she has beautiful hair, and she's very talented, and she her, her version of this looks a lot better than mine does. Um, and what was the other question? Cardigans? Um, we don't have any cardigan patterns. We have a baby cardigan. We have a baby cardigan. Um, that would can you size it up? Yes, you yeah. can size it up. Right. Um, I would have to do a proper tutorial on that, though, because it would require me showing you some um, some 
measurements to take and then like how to figure it out. Um, we, we have every intention of doing a cardigan. We've done several sweater type pullovers, um, the groovy pullover. We did it with, with, with sort of fun, crazy yarn. So we called it the groovy pullover. Um, or the groovy, the groovy poncho, but it's really a pullover sweater. It's got sleeves. You can make it to fit quite neatly. It's got a nice open neck. Um, it's, it, it's a very versatile pattern. And if you just make it all with um, like a size four or even a size five chunky weight yarn instead of the two Mandela that we held together to get that kind of wild and groovy look, it looks, you know, it can look a lot more <clears throat> um, chill, <laughs> not necessarily like a, a wild kind of hippie tunic. Um, so that one, if you're, and it's really easy. So if you're new to creating wearables, um, we show you how to take your own measurements and make it to fit yourself. You can make it to be a little oversized like I did, or make it to be sort of a little more tighter. And you can also make it to fit anybody else. All you need is their, their very basic measurements. Um, it's a really simple pattern. It's got full sleeves and it's quite comfortable. I wear mine um, quite a lot. So um, that's a really good pullover sweater so it's it's closed in the front on unlike a cardigan which is open but it's a good place to start because it kind of gives you an idea of basic garment construction and you can figure out um it's a you can figure out how to make an open front car cardigan from there um so i would recommend that tutorial definitely check out our baby tutorial because um it's it's based on simple rectangles that you can put together and like i said we could do it we could do a video on figuring out measurements and upsizing a pattern like that um i i like to be able to make it along with you um so you know it's often, do I have enough of the same color yarn, you know, yeah. or am I going to make this bright colored and, and wacky looking? And I know <laughs> if I like things that are bright colored and crazy, and I know not everybody clicks on that because they might see that picture and go, oh, that's a nice clown cardigan, Jada, but I'm not in the mood for a clown <laughs> cardigan. <laughs> but it's just because I often just end up using the yarn that we've got here uh, as opposed to going out and buying yarn specifically for it. But I do have a ball of yarn that I have been saving to make a sweater with. And I'm going to go get it because I also need to go get my needle nose pliers. Okay. So well, I've got me. some super chats and um, right comments to get to. <laughs> so a big thank you to, I, I don't know how to pronounce this va vampire vampire. Oh, it's a, a play on the word vampire. So wamp vampire vampire. So a big thank you to vampire <laughs> for the oh, okay. uh, super chat. Inherited over a hundred balls of eyelash yarn oh, when yes. my grand passed and have no clue what to make with it. Any idea? Yes. Eyelash yarn is bizarro. <clears throat> I have some right here, actually. While you're searching for that, uh, Stitch and Cindy asks, what pattern did you use for the ghosts? It's our little ghost applique. I'm we... going to post I'm going to post yeah, it. Yeah, Mr. and Stitches will post it. So I've got some tinsely. In the chat right now. Um, Here we go. Here's some eyelash. This is, I think this is, this is Fun Fur by Lion Brand. I don't even know if they still make this anymore, but this is eyelash yarn. So if anybody's wondering what eyelash yarn is, it literally looks like blink, blink yeah. eyelashes. Yeah. So it's very, very thin. Um. This was trendy what, about a decade ago, everybody. I'd say about a decade, maybe even 15 years ago. Um, so people were buying this and making like a simple scarf out of it because it's quite soft. This is very silky. Um, and it made a kind of a fun, goofy um, <clears throat> scarf. It's fairly warm. And because you you would maybe use big hooks or big needles, it would be a very fast project. So it was quite popular for a while so people were kind of getting it and they were coming out with every different kind of color and color combination and stuff that looked like it was dipped and you know different uh, sort of like undulating colors and everything. Are you probably in those hundred balls that you've got you've likely got every color under the sun um you don't want to make a hundred scarves <laughs> why not i'm not even sure that anybody really wears those anymore scarves? i definitely recommend you make one or two scarves literally if it's just to wear around the house when it gets cold so sometimes in the, the cold weather, you know, maybe the cool really seeps into the house, especially if you live in a cold climate like we do, having one of those little simple eyelash scarves, this is good for everybody. It's just make it short enough that you can pull it over one side, pull it over the other, and tuck it into your shirt. Oh, it's the 
night and day difference between being kind of cold and cr cranky <laughs> and being comfortable as you just sit around, you know, in the evening watching TV. So make a couple scarves. That'll get you used to working with it. But um, that stuff is fun if you pair it up alongside a, a solid yarn or even more eyelash yarn. Think in terms of trim. So you can trim hats with it. You can trim Christmas stockings with it. You can create Christmas garland for the tree with it. You can use it to make crazy bunting and stuff. Think of it more like um, an accessory to your yarn projects or even a craft supply than just necessarily a ball of yarn that you have to make like a blanket or something out of. Um, it's it's goofy, but it's got its purposes. It also lends itself to little Ami groomies and stuffed toys. So you can use it to make the hair, for example, or maybe you're making like a, a fluffy little um, stuffed monster or something. You can use it to make the whole body. You can make it like like a like um, you can <laughs> make a ball and stick two two googly eyes in it, and it. <laughs> It makes a cute little just silly stuffed toy. Sometimes those are kind of fun to make, especially if you know little people who kind of like to, you know, play with little characters. So there's a lot of options for that stuff. You just sort of have to change the way you think about it. Um, but you'll end up using it up. I had a bunch of it myself. I have just a couple balls left because I wound up using it for things like, you know, trim on stockings and whatnot. Baby booties. Um, slippers, if you're making slippers and you want to make like a few sets of slippers to have at the door for when guests come, trim the edge with that crazy stuff. Uh, make pom-poms out of it. It's um, It's got uses. So that that's something you can do. With that yarn. And was there another question? Oh, the ball of yarn. Ah, this is it. Whoa. This, this, this. How did you even lift that up? That thing's a beast. It's like calisthenics. <laughs> this is the biggest ball of yarn I own. <laughs> Obviously. Um, it's a really pretty sage green. I bought it an eon ago. Uh, actually, I think you may have gotten yeah, this Yeah, I me. think so. I remember that. Um, I, I saw it and thought, oh, that's hilarious. And then you went back and got it for me. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's just the hilarious it's just hilarity fun factor. It's so large. It's just so big. <laughs> bigger than my head it's practically covering your whole body yes it's it's humongous like this if is... you turn it sideways it almost covers your entire... I can hide mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thousand oh. grams or 1700 meters so it's 35 ounces or 1859 yards so it's a beast and it's a really pretty um, sage green and it's a size four medium weight yarn and it's 100 percent acrylic because it's red heart comfort so i have been saving this beauty for a cardigan i want to make a sweater with it and every fall rolls around and i go ah this is going to be the fall i use that gigantic ball of yarn to make a sweater and every fall flies by so fast that i don't even know what happened and then i'm just sitting there on christmas day staring at it going ah, here we go another fall came and went and i didn't make a cardigan with it so this is the ball of yarn that I intend to make my cardigan out of. Um, there is so much yarn here. There's more than enough yarn to make a cardigan. A as a rule of thumb, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> this this one of these would make a throw blanket. So um, think in terms of taking a blanket and cutting a cutting it into down into a sweater. Obviously, you don't need that much yarn. So I will have more than enough yarn to make a sweater out of this. But that's mm -hmm. the plan. I would like to share a comment from Megan. I would like to who hear super the chatted from earlier. <laughs> Uh, Megan says, thank you, Jada and Mr. and Stitches. Scott and me have made 700, 700 granny squares because Scott loves to play the granny square game. Awesome! Wow! 700! Woo! You'll be able to make all sorts of stuff with those. Um, are you? I, wow. I assume as a member you're well aware of the app we have now. You can now play it on your phone or your tablet. Yes, the app works. It's goofy. Mm -hmm. um, I, and just, I know a couple of people were kind of asking questions about the way the um, the timer and the, the dice work. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. and Stitches put all those things together. So there's like a, what is it? What did you do? An hour's worth of... Each video is an hour. So all and you do is you just so tap it to way, play and tap it to pause. Yeah, it says so, in, the, in the how to play, it, the, the, but we can explain it. Yeah. So you when you start the video, there's a little... Um, uh, there's a disclaimer there's yeah there's people uh, we have a lot we have viewers that have um various kinds uh, of sensitivities, sensitivities to light so we yeah. have a little warning there but anyway let that pass and then the video plays mm -hmm. the gameplay video 
And the way you play it is you you use play and pause. So you're not restarting the video every yeah. time. Yeah. You're just, just you're just going pause, pause play, play, tap it to pause, tap pause, it to play. play, and yeah. whatever you land on, that's that's the game. So that's our art that's our homemade digital version, DIY yeah. digital version of the game it's we play. Our, our digital version of the game uh, we play. Here on and the it works. Screen. Yeah. We were so excited. We finally got it up and running, and we were so excited to share it with everybody. So um if you've had a chance to play with it, we'd love to hear your feedback. Yeah, we would love love feedback um because we don't I, sh I guess i should maybe i should put a little feedback spot on that app but right. let us know what you think yeah. if you've been playing with it uh leave us comments in our on our videos or um, over at our etsy shop mm -hmm. um but if you are uh, if you you know what i'll put the link i think i know it um, i do you don't remember it do you? okay yeah I am going to get everybody's opinion. I'm going to put the link in the chat here. If, oh you, if you are, if you don't have it, okay, you guys. just go to it and then save it to your home screen. Are those eyes too big or do they make it look cute? Because I'm going for a cute ghosty here as opposed to a, a weird little ghosty. I think I might have smaller black beads, but I'll have to dig them out. So what's everybody think of that? I think that's the link. App.jadedstitches.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, everyone is saying cute. Very cute, cute, cute. cute. I, I, I like it. I even like it with the needles through the eyes. <laughs> That's very it's creepy. It's very creepy <laughs> to Halloween. Holding them in place. <laughs> Show it sideways. Show it sideways. Yeah. Show everyone what it looks like from the side. <laughs> <laughs> Can you impale a ghost? No, it would just no, go right through. It would just them. go right in. He would laugh. Guys, <laughs> just so you know, he doesn't feel like Yeah, anything. there's no He's no fine. no ghosts were harmed in the making He's of these fine. earrings. <laughs> He's absolutely fine. All right. So So lots of cute, very cute, very cute. All right. So that's what so I'm you're getting use. a thumbs up for sure. Oh, speaking of thumbs up, click the like button. Oh you know what we learned recently? We knew that clicking the like button was good for um uh, YouTube and, and channels because yes. it lets people know you enjoyed the video. But what we also learned that is you, if you click the like buttons on your um, favorite videos of your favorite YouTubers, you're going to get served more of their videos in your home screen. Yeah, home as feed, opposed to having to go dig through your, your... As opposed to always going to the subscription feed because mm -hmm. whenever you load up your app, it's always auto goes defaults to the home screen. Yes. So you're not actually getting your subscription. Videos. Yeah, you're not getting the corona the chronological order of the subscriptions yeah. and every single video. So if you kind of if there's a follow. YouTuber that you enjoy, uh, make sure you click like on their videos because you'll get served more of them, more of their their older stuff, stuff that you've missed. Darn it! Oh no, I've dropped an eye. I've dropped an eye. <laughs> oh, I heard it. I heard it. Oh, please don't drop a needle. No, no, no! It's not the needle. It's the. <laughs> It's my little bead. I found it. It's a. Uh, it fell off my little <laughs> my little thing. But I got it. I got it. We're all good. Everyone's loving the little ghost. I I just these things are so darn cute. I love I love. No ghosts were harmed in the making of this live stream. No, no ghosts were harmed in the making. Nor of this were live they stream. impaled. <laughs> so I think my plan is that I'm going to get the eyes on the first one, and then I'm going to put the earring in it, and then I'm going to put it on, and I see what everybody everybody has to say about it. So I'm going to put you there. Okay. I guess I can move that now. I know which wire I'm going to put that other eye. <laughs> this is uh, making on the fly. Oh, this is going to look even more like a oh boy. I really need my, my glasses. <laughs> uh, this is really going to look like one of those little those little Pac-Man um, ghosties. This is, this is cute. There we go. <laughs> um. I'm just trying to catch up with the chat here. This is a uh, just some, some people have just discovered our app, so oh, that's good. great. Great. Um, that, that it also has um, if you go to the quick links, um, so there's the game area. And then there's the tutorial area. But if you go to the quick links, there's also direct links, or also on the homepage, there's direct links to our home, 
YouTube channel, mm -hmm. so you can sort of browse all the tutorials. And then there's a direct link to our Etsy shop. And then on quick links, there's also direct links to um, our website, which has all kinds of helpful information and uh, tons of free patterns too. Yes, and um, you don't, as you, a lot of you know who are playing the game along with us, you can, you can use just about any granny square pattern in that granny square game. And we have a lot of different granny square patterns, including our new um, granny rectangle pattern. So if you wanted to use rectangles, um, then you, we, if you just click on that link that takes you back to our channel homepage, it's easy to find everything. And I think you've, you've, you've curated a few um, actual Granny Square tutorials right in the app, Yeah, right? they're right there. Yeah, yeah. So, so everybody's covered. Bases are covered. Do you have any uh, suggestions or ideas for the app? Let us know. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for... Oh, just leave a see. comment on any, any, video any video on YouTube. We'll, we'll get it. We'll see it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry, guys. I just realized that my eyes weren't a completely uniform narrowness, and I'm I'm being a bit being a bit picky here. Uh. Oops. Let me make sure I didn't miss a super chat. I get. Uh... I know when you're trying Confused, to kind of put up the. Uh... A... Let me see here. <laughs> Katie. I don't Katie. think I read out Katie's. No. Okay. So good thing I went back. So a big thank you to Katie who sent us a super chat okay. earlier. Um, Katie says, hello. I'm glad I was able to watch live. I'm trying to start making my own patterns. I was wondering if you have any tips for beginner pattern makers. Yes, I do. Um, first of all, we've got uh, we've got free patterns over on our web page. So if you've never even looked at a pattern before, then definitely take a look at those and sort of get an idea of how a pattern is laid out. So it's kind of like it's kind of like if you've never cooked before, you would read through a cookbook and see how different people lay out their recipes. Then you get a feel for how a recipe flows. You know, there's usually a, a it's like a, it's like any literary story. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Um, so the best way to be a writer is to read. Well, the best way to, to to write up your own patterns is not only to experiment and get comfortable with the stitches and really understand what it is you're doing. You need to make the thing you're making uh, and write your notes as you make it. And then when you sit down to kind of compose the pattern, think about it from the point of view of somebody who would be reading it for the first time. Try to make it as user-friendly as possible. Um, but read as many patterns from as many different people as you can, because pattern writing has its own style too. There's, there's a certain amount of uniformity in say the different stitch legends we use and the kind of um, the, the, the wording, the verbiage, some of the, the way uh, patterns are laid out, kind of some of the uh, the repeating um, motifs that you'll see kind of through the body of a pattern. So it's good to kind of try to stay uniform with that. But um, other than that, you know, you really want to find your own voice. You're, you're not just writing up a pattern, you're kind of, uh, or, or creating a project, you're, you really are writing up sort of the spirit of the pattern too. So make sure you yourself are in your patterns. And that just basically comes from practicing you know if you've got other friends who can crochet then write one up give it to your friend and see if they can follow it see if there are any errors see if they get to a point it's like maybe you forgot to add a, a very important key part in the project um it's good to have people kind of sort of pr proofread your work it's better to have friends do it uh, because they're usually a lot nicer to you <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's really helpful too. So I hope, um, I hope Katie that sent the I super chat that is still here. Yes, I would call that um, workshopping. But I'm going to post our, our website. Websites. Yeah. I think we have a direct, yeah, we have a direct link to our free patterns, but also um, there's other information on there. You can um, bounce around all the pages. So these are the free patterns that'll get you started. And then obviously our videos. Okay, I am going to <clears throat> put this little ghosty. Now, somebody in the comments on the Friday video suggested, I just pulled the ring open with my pull, being able to close pliers. She suggested that I, I pull it sideways. And I'm gonna try that just so I don't. Now, uh, like I said in the video, 
The hanger, the hook, this is a hook style earring um, in this case. The hanger that goes through your ear, you point it to the back. You take your, your little thing that you want facing outwards so that you want the part that faces outwards. You face it in the opposite direction. And then I'm just going to spear the top stitch, top center stitch. Oh, I'm already in love. Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm going to see if you can help Susan with sure. your expertise. Susan asks, um, what... What you can make with yarn when you pull it apart, it looks like lace and it curls up. Does that make sense to you? It's a, so we're talking about a kind of yarn that looks like lace. You pull it apart and it curls up. And it up. curls up. Looks like lace. You pull it apart and it curls up. This sounds like a riddle. Um, we might need some extra information on that question. Is there a is there like a label on it? Do you have a does it is there like a, a description of the or, or or have you just sort of come across this and you're wondering what to do with it? Um, well, if you don't know what the fiber is, I don't suggest making anything that's going to be coming into contact with heat. Or that's going to have to be washed frequently because if you don't know what the fiber is then you're kind of going to be stuck hand washing it and air drying it um just because you should always air on it air on the side of your of your fiber being the most precious and expensive if you don't know what it is um, because otherwise you'll spend all this time making a project you'll wash it you'll wreck it possibly if you don't know what the fiber is um Does if it's ladder, stretchy ladder yarn ring a bell to you ladder ladder yarn? So it's kind of like it's got rungs and then, or I should say, the edges a, and then rungs uh, in the middle. Looks like lace. You pull it apart and it curls up. Does it have wire running down either side of it? Because that sounds like it more might be like a ribbon rather than than yarn. If it's stretchy, treat it like um, yeah. Cat's cat. One of our channel members, helpful members, says ladder ribbon used for scarves. Ladder ribbon. Yeah. Ladder Does that ribbon. sound familiar to I you? don't know that. Ladder ribbon used for scarves. Well, if it's stretchy, um, remember to use, um, mm -hmm. like, I, I guess I, you're going to want to experiment with a little bit of it. You know, you're going to grab a hook and work a few stitches and give it a stretch, mm -hmm. give it a look. You know, is it lacy? Is it loose? Does it want to, is it uneven? Um, you know, Always work a sampler with new yarn and, and, a, and a few different hook sizes um, because that'll give you a feel for whether or not you want to use it or, oh, this would be really useful for. Um, if it's for a scarf, do you think it might be pretty as a scarf? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Ladder, ladder ribbon. That's I'm going to have to look that up. I've never heard of ladder ribbon before. Um, this cool. is from one of our longtime channel members, Carolyn. Hi, hey, Carolyn. Carolyn asks, would you make your patterns so lefties can understand them better? Um, yeah, I guess some patterns, some patterns are kind of right-handed specific. Some of them are kind of, doesn't really matter which direction you're going in because um, especially things like blankets, if you're going back and forth and back and forth, whether you're going left to right or right to left, it doesn't really matter. Um, there are some patterns that might require, um, rewriting i'm not sure i would be the best i'm not sure i would i've never i've never really thought about it from the left-handed perspective before in terms of writing a pattern usually i know if you're if i say okay well you're going to immediately crochet into the stitch immediately to the right if you were working the opposite direction it would be to the immediate left um and and most things are pretty mirror mirror image i can't think of anything immediately on the top of my head that would be very specific right-handed stuff but um, I don't know if, uh, I know if you're watching our tutorials, most of the time, if you just, if you like, if you're watching on a we tablet, have a video where we show you how to watch tutorials, if you're left-handed mm -hmm. with a mirror, yeah, and, you just watch the that, mirror, not the video. Yeah. And that helps. Um, it does because if, if you're looking at it in reverse, Cameron, that's if, yeah, it's, uh, we need, we need the Among Us uh, t uh, video title and we need the, uh, the for lefties, the, the crochet, crochet, cause uh, that, uh, crochet for left. Handed. It was a hack. It was like a, it was like yeah. a, um, a trick. Or that's a like that's like seven years old. That's an old one. Yeah. Um, usually, if you're watching a tutorial and it's right-handed, um, you just pull it up on your phone or your tablet, face it at a mirror, and watch the mirror because now you're seeing it in perfect mirror image. And usually, what they say, if they say you know, chain three, turn, or whatever the instructions are, it's usually pretty left or right, and it doesn't really <laughs> matter. 
direction you're going in. Again, I'm I'm kind of racking my brain trying to think of anything that might be very specific to handedness. Typically it's not. So if you hear them say, you know, to the right, that tells you it should be to the left if you're working in the opposite direction. Um, and that's usually the only difference. Mm, so, well, that helps. Yeah. Um, but that's a fun, that's a, that, and that, that little trick works for knitting and crochet videos. So whatever you happen to be watching, mm -hmm. just watch it in the mirror and you get the, the perfect view. <laughs> If we had um, more time, we could kind of do the left lefty version of them just by changing the words around. That might help. Yeah, some of the some of them some of the some I can see them. where not, it might not not. most all of them, them don't some, because yeah. I most of our patterns don't specifically say to the right mm -hmm. or to the left. Mm -hmm. um, and if we are referencing, say, a stitch immediately to the right, thanks, the Caroline. Tree, you gave me a whole bunch of more work that I didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah usually if we're if, if it's something sort of says to the right then it, it usually means to the left and there's not there's not a lot of difference um so this is from lisa i believe good, lisa's are one of our new members lisa says ladder ribbon is a ladder yarn with small brilliant panels of color suspended between two rows of black or like colored yarn common names for ladder ribbon include ladder yarn wow that sounds really cool. So we're learning something today. <clears throat> I, I am not familiar with that stuff, and I feel like I should go looking for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ladder ribbon. Green is... I, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to look it up and be like, oh, that. And I'll probably have yeah, some silly name for you, it. Yeah, you've seen it a hundred times, and yeah. you've got ten of them in your closet. Yeah. But you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You Does that what I sound stuff. like to you? Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly. I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't um, know. Lorraine is trying to set up an appreciation day for Jada and Mr. and Stitches. Aww. We're going to have our own day. Our that's own appreciation awesome. day. Hey. I thought Friday was our day. I no, think, Friday is your day. I think Jada September day. the 12th was International Crochet Day. And that was what? Sunday, yeah. And Come I, on. I remember thinking, oh, I wonder, I wonder if uh, if anybody crocheters else crocheters have that. their own day now. Yeah, crocheters have their own day. Well, I think I know there's there's We're international. We're gonna have to make a flag. There's international knit in public. We should. We That's need a crochet hilarious. flag. Yes, we do. We need, we need a flag. <laughs> so we can wave it on that day. <laughs> <laughs> that would really confuse everyone. Yeah. What flag what is, is that? that? <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> You're no friend of mine. I'm offended. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. It is a busy chat oh, tonight. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad everybody's uh, hanging super out. Super chat from Cherry. Hey, Cherry. Thank you. <laughs> Miss J, it's that weird stuff. Sachet is netting. Sachet net. Okay, well, that's starting to ring Sachet a bell. Sachet has netting. Yes, yes, yes. That's starting to ring a bell. Ring a bell now? Yeah, a little bit. Like I said, I'm going to look it up and I'll give you like, oh, that. Yeah, you I've have got... to speak in poetry. Uh, I've got a, I've got a basket. Carrie, right. from now on, when you super chat, it better rhyme. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm not reading it. It needs to be a poem 100% of the time. Even questions. Even questions. <laughs> okay. That's my second little uh, ghost. Oh, this is a great suggestion from Tori. Can you come up with a Frankenstein blanket panel? So uh, a square with the Frankenstein face. I think that's awesome idea yes, for yes, Halloween. I can. We have the pumpkin. Let me write that down. Um, we, do have, we do have a little Frankenstein pocket pet, um, little stuffed toy. If you're unaware of that, that's that's a really cute one. I like that idea. I love. Yeah, because we've got a we've got in terms of like Halloween squares, we've got a bat square, we've got a cat square. Um, what else have we got? We've got the owl, obviously that can be quite, and, and the, um, uh, the jack-o'-lantern. So we've got four, um, the, all, and they're all 12 inch. There's the big, the big ones. Um, and I've got, got mm. plans for a few more, yeah. um, but Frankenstein, I like that. I have written it down. So Carolyn was asking specifically about our written patterns. About our written yeah. patterns. Um, you know what? We're, we'll add that to we'll add that to the list. Yeah, because um, um, that's probably if, that's if probably you have a good idea any of our written patterns there. and you have a question, like you've run into it from the point of view of a lefty, a very specific question on a specific pattern, which you can you can message us at the shop if you mm -hmm. want, and you don't even have to have an account. You just come to our shop and message us. Um, that might help me out a little more because uh, I'm 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 thinking in terms of I guess general general patterns and for the most part it's it's kind of yes or no one way or the other. I have a few left-handed knitting and crochet friends in my circle and 
that doesn't come up very often, but I know it does when you're watching like a tutorial. So if you have a specific question, please don't hesitate to, to message us and, um, mm -hmm. and I will endeavor to answer that specific question because that might help focus my brain a little bit better. <laughs> Bell has just joined us and says, hi, Jada and Mr. I Stitches. Know. I'm late. I have the bell checked, but I don't get notified. Uh, ah, it's You know what? We hear this so often. Yep, yeah, it's not you. Um, it's you too. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's like a problem we can't solve because um, YouTube keeps making changes, and then they change the changes, and then they change the way the changes change the changes, yes. and it's hard to keep up with it. Um, the best thing you can do is... Uh, make sure you're subscribed uh, because you might not be, but you think you are. Yes, um, people have been getting unsubscribed. Yeah, that and that too. happens too. <laughs> people get un un unsubscribed by YouTube without requesting be doing it. Anyway, um, and then when you click Okay, let's the just talk bell, about how cute my, my little earrings are for a second. <laughs> okay, obviously you want me to stop. I'm just, trying to help. Check check your little, make sure if the little button that says um, subscribe says subscribe. That means you're subscribed. And if the little bell's on, I think it's like. But there's three, so there's two or three selections for the bell. There's, um, I want to be occasionally them, yeah. notified. I want. But even if you clicked all full of it, notifications, sometimes they don't I want bother. all notifications. Yeah. Uh, it's when The you... other thing you should do is like, uh, when you do watch one of our videos and you enjoy it, yes. click the like button because that will It'll, they'll, you'll put be more, more of our stuff yeah, in your feed. Yeah, specifically the lives when they, they come yeah. up. Um, and send YouTube feedback. Yes, yes. Everybody has the power of that feedback button. Yes. Um, and it's really, it's and they read it. They actually do. They They've do. got a they very do. big crew of people reading the feedback. Um, and just send them feedback and tell them, hey, you know what? I, I know I've done this. I've done this. You know, maybe you guys should make some um, some easier tutorials if you're going to keep changing everything so we can we can follow them. Those are really darn cute, I have to say. I am so yep. excited. Okay, so I'm going to Little ghosty in. earrings. Little, so I'm going to take my little pumpkins out. You're going to switch them up? I'm going to switch it up here. So those are my little pumpkins I made Friday. So mm. Everyone's loving the little ghosties. So that tutorial is available if you'd like to make the little ghosts. Yes. Actually, it's kind of two tutorials, but so actually they're all linked together. Um, I've sized down. Not only did I size down the actual tutorial, I actually I actually sized down the applique pattern. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write up what I did, and um, we'll post it somewhere. Uh, the community tab, I think. I mean, like I've a, got. Tell me, like a plan. this is a totally off off topic. For those of you who have pierced ears. Do either do you find you've got like one ear that just never works properly? There we go. <laughs> I have so much trouble with this ear. I think the girl that pierced my ears back when I was a kid was nervous. She did not do she, a good she job. She did this one straight, and this one's a bit on a bit oh, of a for funny angle. Out loud. So, what? 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 Oh, I'm just defending. Oh, you. you're defending me. Yeah, just another. I love it. They <laughs> look amazing. <laughs> Okay, I made changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write up what I did, and we'll we'll post a little uh, we'll post a little pocket pattern for everybody in the community feed. It'll be a little while from now, so um, don't don't panic. We'll, we'll we'll you'll if your notifications are on, you should get it. But just look in your <laughs> look in your subscription feed. So you know whenever you're in the subscription feed and you see a community post, it's not a video. It's a still. Sometimes it's a still picture, but there's usually like some some sort of like um, text or whatever. We're we're gonna do that. So we we post we post community stuff fairly often, mm -hmm. um, but we'll we'll post the information on these a little later. I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow. If you have our time. app on your phone, you can just periodically just kind of go to the uh, homepage and you'll sort of yes. check in and see if we have a new video or we're live. I don't think yeah. Or you can go to the community it's, tab. It's kind of a quicker direct link. But uh, that's where we'll we'll post the information and uh, we'll also make sure that there's um, some kind of link to it in the pinned comment on this video. Uh, I'll figure all that out later, but just so you can make a pair of these in, in the same way that I did, mm -hmm. because I really downsized that that little mm -hmm. applique, but I'm, I'm in love. I think Luki would like another chibi chubby tubby. Yes. Yeah, but for sure. I mean. I got um, some We do have quite a few of them. If, if Make sure you've seen them all. Um, we've got our little pocket pets, and then we've got the chibi chubby tubbies. Yeah, I've had a lot of really fun requests of for those. the chibi chubby tubbies. I've got, we've got the owl, the cat, the bat. Um, we've got the fox, mm -hmm. the reindeer. Oh, yeah, there's tons. Um, 
who else have we got? I think, am I missing any? Have we done the bunny? No, I don't think we've done Not the bunny. Not in Chibi Chubby Tubby, but Pocket Pet is right behind I've you. got, I've, I've. You'd go like this. I've so made. There it is. I've made. Ba -da! I've made Chibi Chubby <laughs> Tubby mice and bunnies, but we haven't done tutorials on them yet because I kind of got on a run of making a whole bunch of little, oh, yeah. little, little chibi chubby tubby menagerie. Yeah. Um so yeah, you I do have cats, more to make. I have more to make. The little toys the other day. This is why I run out of time every many things to make. There's too many things. I want to make stuff and constantly. And edit and film and it's upload. True. And upload. It takes us forever to upload. It does. It's because <laughs> our lousy internet. <laughs> we if we're going to upload a video, we 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 set it to to upload we go to bed and usually in the morning it's up, but sometimes, sometimes it's not. <laughs> That's how long it takes. <laughs> yes. So uh, yeah, our our, our it's been about an ordeal. It's I mean it's steady internet. It's just not it's very fast. stable. I'll give it's them stable. that. It is yeah. stable. Thank goodness. But it is slow. It is very slow. Um, so let's see here. Oh, this is an idea from Stitchin Cindy. Cindy says for problems with getting notifications, unsubscribe and then resubscribe yeah. and then hit the bell. That's a great idea. And you know what? I'll, I'll it's even, like a reset. Yeah, I, I'd even do. Good idea. I'd even do you one further. I would say unsubscribe, wait twenty four hours, <laughs> and then resubscribe. Let the system, um, let the system do its like rebooting. Yeah, thing. sometimes. Yeah, because the, yeah, the servers will all reboot it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that might work. But don't forget. But don't forget. <laughs> right, don't don't leave us in the dust. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, but that is a great idea from Stitch and Cindy. I actually, I've heard other YouTubers talk about that and, um, sometimes it works because of all the changes YouTube makes. Well, that, that makes so sense. So that it's kind of like. I, I really think that it's nothing anyone, it's not, it's nothing that the system is doing intentionally. It's like they are making crazy amounts of changes in large scale, small scale, like at different times, they, they take certain stuff off, like sort of like pull it out of one server and they sit it on a shelf while they fix something and then they pull everything back on. And so, so there's all of these different things happening at different times. And if you just happen to be in the bucket that gets shelved, you know, you wouldn't necessarily know from your user experience, but then maybe there's an update that happens while you're kind of shelved. And then when you come back like into the mainstream, you, you've been missed out on whatever update was happening over here. I don't know. It is such a complicated system. Uh, Chibi Chubby Tubby Ghost. I think we have one of those. We have a little Amigurumi Ghost. Yeah, we have a little Amigurumi which Ghost. Which is kind of like the pocket pet. Yeah. And if you wanted to make him Chibi Chubby Tubby size, you could just use um, a smaller hook and like a DK weight yarn, and he would get quite small because he's a cute little tubby thing mm -hmm. right now. Um, mm -hmm. But I like that. Yeah, because we have a an animation on that one, the ghost. A chibi tubby uh, a chibi chubby tubby ghost. I'm gonna write that down too. Yeah, look Why up uh, Amigurumi ghost. Jaden and Stitches chubby, Amigurumi chubby, ghost. ghost. I would like to shout out Georgie, who is uh, recently joined our membership. Thank you, Georgie. Big thank you to Georgie. <laughs> I like that name, Georgie. Yeah. It's the name of my Cabbage Patch Kid. Thank you. Thanks for joining. My Cabbage Patch Kid's name is Georgie. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> my Chibi, heart did a little flutter when I heard Chibi the name Georgie. Chubby Tubby Turkey, Turkey is a request. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And a chicken. So that's Aww. that's a must. I love chickens. Yes. Turkey and chicken. In Jada's other life, she's a she's a chicken farmer. I love chickens. I love chickens. Chickens are so funny. Mama just thinks that she says, I, she says she loves chickens because she says you never know what end is up. Because <laughs> they look the same. <laughs> they both, both they look the same on both sides. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Um, super chat from Megan. Megan, thank you. This is our earlier Megan. Uh, Scott is left handed and he learned to crochet by watching me and Jada. Yes. Scott was seven years old when he started. Now he's 11 years old. Whoa. Whoa. Four years. And between the two of you, you've cranked out 700 squares. Oh, my goodness. You guys must be really good at it. Wow. What are you going to do with them all? That's what I want to know. Yeah. I mean, you can, oh, you can make so many things. I mean, yes. Yeah. But I'm, I'm my brain's raising. Perfect thinking, building blocks. I, in fact, while I'm... Don't mind me. I'm just going to make some notes about the little ghost earrings so that I don't forget... Um, a shark, absolutely. I love that idea. Oh. Chibi chubby tubby shark. I'm gonna write that down. That's that's cute. We've got a little narwhal. 
Oh, yes, we oh, have a narwhal. That's another. Wow, we're, go, we're going in the Wayback Machine. We're in the Wayback Machine yeah. tonight, yeah. So the narwhal is probably one of our first Amigurumi videos. So that's got to be at least seven years old. Yes. So look up Amigurumi narwhal, which is similar looking to what an uh, what a well a I, I, I can already look. sort of i already am envisioning how i would change that to make it a little more shark like yeah. but then and I was, you would need the the teeth i also like the idea of making a chibi chubby chubby shark i love that idea anything bunty looks so cute So, just so you know, we have been streaming for an hour and 24 minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay. How are you feeling? Well, I am Still just, got some juice? I'm just making my, uh, making my notes here. Octopus. Oh, we have an octopus, but I think that's a written pattern. We have a, we have a written pattern. That's a written pattern. pattern in the shop. For a squid, not an octopus. No, but we have an octopus too. We do have yeah. an octopus. See, once again, the Wayback Machine. That that one's like eight years old. But a chibi chubby tubby octopus would be yes. so cute. So we're just sticking to chibi chubby tubby well, versions, eh? I'm not going to sleep tonight. Well, I like octopus. <laughs> That's a great idea. Um. I'm trying to decide how I would describe a the seal? beads that I use. A seal. A seal. Oh, how to yeah. describe the beads? The beads that I use. I'm trying to think of the size of them. So these are these are glass, uh, opaque black beads. They're the tight. I mean, they look like they're you can about a you can find them in six six millimeter, five six millimeter diameter. I'd, I'd say they're probably two millimeters thick, and they're probably. Four millimeters across, like they're really tiny. They're really tiny, but they're not seed beads. Seed beads are even smaller. Oh, so these okay. are these are a bit bigger than a seed bead. But I'm so I'm trying to figure out how I would describe them. But you need four to for if you want to use beads, you could also just you know embroider you a little anything. a little thing. But the nice thing about using beads is that I used white thread to sew the beads on. So if you look at the back of the earring, it's just a plain white back. There's no there's no like stitching or anything showing through because I used the white thread to sew the beads on. Just why I like the beads. Uh, needle and thread. Needle and thread mm -hmm. for the beads. Okay, I've made my notes. This is the ghost earrings, which we will make sure we get those pattern notes up for everybody a little later. And you you were gonna post the lady that does the hair. Thread floss. We oh yeah. Find her and post her. Thread floss and I don't remember which hook size I was using. We were going to leave feedback for the uh, mm -hmm. membership thing. 1.75 millimeter. <laughs> Boy, it's a busy night. This, this, this is, is a busy night. I wasn't is, expecting it to be this busy. This is, I, thought, uh, I thought this was going to be a chill Well, night. I figured I would just sit here and do a little, a little, a little <laughs> crochet noodling with everybody, but it always turns into something exciting. Well, everyone's excited about crochet, it's, I guess. It's the uh, circle of inspiration. You guys get me all riled up, and then my brain... Uh, there's another Kimmy didn't get notified either. Oh well, we're sorry guys. There's not there's not really much we can do about that. Yeah, it's weird. We, we try to um, we send out uh, we send out notification through our community tab. Members get notified, but even sometimes that doesn't work for some reason. Yeah, even they don't get And then we tr we put up our live stream. Uh, we try to put it up um, you know, half an hour an hour before so that you can see it, but <clears throat> sometimes it just doesn't pop up. Yeah, we try to we try to start the the live stream uh, as a, so it would it would show as a coming event. Yeah, or yeah, upcoming yeah. Upcoming event. Upcoming, yeah. And you should get a notification when that pops up, and then you would you would come to it and you'd say, "Oh, it's an upcoming event." In which case, you can click the note like the the reminder bell or the alarm, add alarm or something. It you gives know what you, that I, option. you know what I would like? Um, this is a great suggestion. <clears throat> the squirrel, mm -hmm. chubby chubby mm -hmm. squirrel. But I would love a ch uh, chibi chubby chubby version of, uh, of my little troll. How would I do that? That'd be a lot of. How's that for a challenge? That would be a challenge because there's a lot. I'll even, in I'll even pay you fifty cents for it. <laughs> fifty cents. Yeah. We're really stepping out. Aren't we? Seventy-five. <laughs> Seventy-five cents. <laughs> Come on. Uh, is it's that going to be in nickels, dimes? Like, like how are you going to do that? In Cheerios. In Cheerios. Seventy-five cents worth of Cheerios. 
I have so many ideas now. I don't know super chat doing. from Bell. Oh, thank Bell you. Sent, no, I'm sorry, a super sticker. Super it's, sticker. It's the fox giving you a big smile. Aww, thank you, Bell, for thank the super you. sticker. Um, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with us this evening. We I have a koala. You, we, we do have a koala. Yeah. We have a koala square. Okay, for those of you that are getting excited about Amigurumi oh, toys, you have to look up Jada. We is, don't have a koala. We have a panda. Go to YouTube search or Google search and look up Jada in Stitches, Amigurumi, mm -hmm. and most of them should pop up. Ami, A-M-I-G-U-R-U-M-I. Ami, G-U-M-I, Gurumi. Jada and Stitches, stuffed toy. G-U-M-I. I'm trying to think of all the keywords. Just Jaden you know Stitch is an animal name and they'll all pop up. That's yeah. it. So you like, know what? Even better, go go to our channel and look and use the search box. Do you have your little uh, drawing? It's, it's in the, I'm going to grab it. <laughs> sour key. Bring the sour key. Bye, sour key. So if you go to our channel homepage and use the little search icon and then look up, use the keyword uh, stuffed toy. Ami Garumi. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Look for that. Um, it's usually like on the Chibi line Chubby line. Tubby, Pocket Pet. Mm -hmm. Or just um, the animal name. Like or just the animal cat, name. Mouse, whatever. But I'm rabbit, thinking if they look up bunny. like stuffed toy, then they can sort of get a bigger list of. We also have playlists. Have. So if you go to the channel homepage and you go to the playlists, um, you can just click on the, the playlist that's like stuffed toys, and we have a lot of them. <laughs> um, but I've written these down. This is great. We do have a panda, though. We have a little panda. We have a panda, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stuffies, that's right. Stuffies. Stuffies um, stuffed toy. Um, I think stuffed toy, stuffy. And I think if you put Jade and Stitches. Just toy. Toy. Mm -hmm. You'll probably get them all. They'll all come up. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Okay, so my little list for myself. I'm going to put together the information on the ghost earrings. So, And we're going to post that so you guys can, can sort of make your notes and try them yourself. I'm going to try to find the channel of uh, that girl that did this hairstyle because I really liked her video and I'll post that as well. And in fact, I'll just post the video. I'll just repost the video in the, in the, in the, the feed. <laughs> Lisa wants to know if there's a place that we can post pictures for Jada to look at. Yes, you can send pictures. The best place is the our Etsy shop. Our Etsy yeah, shop. We're there so the most. You need to send a message and attach a picture. That's the best place. Very easy to do. You yeah. can also send them to Instagram, Jaden Stitches. But, I have but, not had a chance to get to Instagram. But Instagram in quite a while, is so. not a <laughs> just place we frequent. Yeah. But I mean, we are there. We just don't. We do have an Instagram channel. We just aren't. But there Etsy as is much. the best to, to, for us to see them right away. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yes. Um, what else? What else? What else? <laughs> You're gonna be rich, Jada. Yeah, like I'm trying to hire her to make my <laughs> like I even I even raised the price. You raised the price 75 like, cents. Look how quickly I went from 50 to 75. Look how serious You're a good your negotiator. I want a I want a I want an Amigurumi version of my troll. And then I have a really good idea for an animation. Oh, oh well. If you're gonna if mm -hmm. you're gonna make an animation, see now now you've sweetened the deal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw in a good cup of coffee, and I I might be all in. An animation and a cup of coffee, and, and then cents. you'll make it for me. That's the deal. and seventy five cents. I'm getting burned here. What? Whoa. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'll be paying you a, a dollar. <laughs> Dollar, I'll take a dollar. It's a harder. It's a, it's a much easier to the loonie's easier to come by than three quarters. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's a deal. Great. Okay. On that note, everybody, I think we're going to call it there, so that I still have some energy to write up the ghosty stuff. Uh, we're going to make a few little additions to the live stream. So um, Icebox says, "Is it Morgan Don Donner? Is it Morgan? The girl that did the hair tutorial." I will find out and okay. I will post it. I, I promise. Right. Um, I, I, cause it was, I really enjoyed it. And I, I, I just, I even watched her just, just a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, that's how they do it. She did a really good job. So, um, and, it, and you know what? It was fun. This, this, <laughs> this was actually fun and it's comfortable and nothing pinches and there's nothing pulling. I have a problem with that with little pulling hairs and I, I will go out in public like this. <laughs> Uh, the baby blanket behind you. Is that the one? Um... That's our seashell uh, mighty mile a minute. We did a live stream. That's the Mighty Mile a Minute baby blanket version. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, we, we it's made a live that stream. during and a live it's stream. A written pattern. And there's a written pattern. Shop. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, if you want to watch that. Oh, and we we have that's the June the June Mighty Mile Minute strip. <laughs> so if you just want the, the June tutorial, that's the the seashell tutorial, the Mighty Mile Minute seashell. But, so I'm um, getting my price. Uh, your price is, is being is raised it? to a full dollar. Thanks, now. guys. <laughs> Cheryl says crochet invention isn't cheap, Mister. No, 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 it's, it's not. It's uh, it's time consuming. It is time consuming. Uh, yeah, the materials cost cost. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna price for you. One animation. A cup Break of out the calculator and the paper. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down. Slow yes. down there, Miss. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're going to go out there, guys. We will see you Friday um, for our usual tutorial sometime Friday morning. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you got some work done on whatever work in progress that you maybe pulled out for the evening. Uh, thanks for, for all the support and the love and the super chats and the super stickers and just hanging out and being supportive. We really appreciate it. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Um, I know, I know uh, a lot of you are not in the best of moods these days. Neither are we. I know, I know uh, we have a lot of fun here, but I mean, a Monday is still a Monday. <laughs> and boy, it is Monday is still Monday around here. Um, and it was just nice to be able to sit down, hang out, and um, and just goof around, have the conversation, sort of meander, and do a little, a little crochet noodling on the spot. Um, and look what came out of it. This is what came out of just hanging out with you guys this evening. So I will put this information together. We'll make sure you guys can get it. We'll put it in the, uh, we'll link in the pinned comment and we'll also have it somehow in the, um, the community chat. Um, and if some of you are having trouble finding it and others people sort of see the note, please help each other out. I mean, you guys are really great at doing that usually in the comment section anyway, but please feel free to help each other out because it's uh, it helps us out. And uh, it's the big circle of inspiration. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. We will see you soon. Take care. Stay safe. Stay crafty. And um, Friday. Friday, baby. We will see you Friday. Yeah. And uh, if you miss the stream, you can catch it in about... Give half, it about 20 minutes. 20 let minutes it, let to it half an hour, itself. maybe yeah. an hour, and then you can watch yeah, it. Yeah, I'll be adding some notes to it there before we uh, before we let it go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Yes. Have a wonderful night, Have and night. we'll see you all on Friday for Friday. a new video. Mm -hmm. Cool. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. I didn't even get into my glass of water.